Hello, everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Aiden Versio from the Inferno Squad. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So, if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out for myself, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Now, again, for myself, I always have to say that because I always get a lot of people saying, well, I can't see it. I, I know. I know you can't see it. It's, it's not for you. It's for me. Now, uh, I was thinking about doing uh, a, a gray marker so you can see it eventually. Like, I'm thinking about doing the March for Robots. And what that is, is, is the entire month of March, we draw robots every day. And I do a drawing every day anyway, so the only challenge for me, I mean, it's a challenge to draw. The only challenge for me is I'm going to be doing two drawings. So I'll be doing this and the March of the Robots. But for that, I think I'm going to experiment with um, drawing with a gray marker for my sketch. So you'll be able to see more and, and see how that goes. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to do the foot in like this a little more. Yeah, like that. I had it going out, but I think I'm going for a, a specific look, a specific stance, you know, a, 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 a crowd warrior, so to speak. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I'm thinking about doing that for the, for that, for, the, I'm thinking about doing that for that. <laughs> and that will tell me if it works. And if I do start doing that, that means you might see a little bit more. But really, this sketch is for me. It really was supposed to be just for me, just so I could see what I'm doing. And uh, you know what? What does she have? She has, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm flipping through different pictures because this is where it gets confusing, okay? Because the, the, uh, there, she's got both. Okay, gotcha. Um, Let's do let's do the first one, okay? Uh, sorry, I'm all over the place. But what I'm trying to say is, I'm flipping through pictures of costumes, and I see two different sets of armor. I see the the uh, what do you call it? The I'm doing detail. I don't need to be doing detail. I see the armor, and then I see the button armor. So, I was trying to say, okay, maybe I should be doing this one and not the other one, that kind of thing. But I realized, like, oh, 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 I need to do, I want to do the, the buttoned armor, so to speak. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this for a reason. Like, I love, I love this design. I love this character. I, I, I have not played the game. I'm going to be honest with you. I have not played... Uh, was it Battlefront? Battlefront 2, whatever she's on. I haven't played the game because I don't own one of those systems. And I bought a Nintendo Switch, so I'm hoping eventually I'm going to get the game, right? There's a rumor about it. But uh, anyway, I don't have it. So I'm only going by pictures on the internet. And pictures on the internet show her in two different costumes, two different versions. There's the one with the, the, the stuff on the front, and then there's one that's just plain armor, right? So... Um, I'm, I'm going for the armor, but here's the other thing. Pictures on the internet also show her in the, well, I don't want to spoil it for anybody, in the outcome. We'll, we'll just say that. In the outcome of the game, it shows her in that outfit. And I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to draw that outfit. Does that make sense? No spoilers. Nobody spoil it for anybody because not everybody's played the game. And it's going to be fun. Anyway, so yeah, pretty soon I think I'm gonna, I may even do it like next week. I got stuff planned for this week. So I think I'm going to do that. 
So anyway, anyway. Looking at different pictures, I see that. And so that's why I was, was like, well, which one do I do? <laughs> Tell me this, though. What do you think of this? Let's talk about this. Um, what do you think about... I would love to see these characters... Now that, now that the Mandalorian has proven that we are willing to sit through different characters that aren't the Skywalkers, pay attention, Disney. I'm going to go on a rant here. Pay attention because we are ready for new stuff. So as much as I grew up with the Skywalkers and I know you wanted to close out the Skywalker saga, we're ready for new stuff. So if nothing else, the Mandalorian should show you that... Um, it's time. It's time for other characters. And so, what do you think of this? Would you guys watch a show based on on uh, these characters? Like, uh, um, not Battlefront, but like uh, um, with Jedi Fallen Order, all those. The reason I'm saying that is because the actors that they they get to to play these parts they i mean they're in the parts you know what i mean they have they're they're scanned they're they look like them they're practically ready to go would you be ready for i can't remember the actor's name that does uh oh my gosh i'm even drawing a blank on the names um the jedi fallen order guy uh oh my gosh what is it cal kestis the that guy playing cal kestis and and uh, oh, this girl that plays Iden Versio, you know what I mean? I mean, they've already got actresses and actors playing the parts. Give them a role. Give them a show. Let's let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's watch those shows. I would be ready. I'm so ready for. I've said this many times to my friends. Mostly, I am done with the Skywalkers. I, I'm glad you finished it. I, uh, I'm not happy with the way they did it. But, you know, it's more movies for us to watch. I'm not going to complain. But it's time for new stuff. It's been time for new stuff. And it's it needs to, it needs to move on to other things. That's, that's just about it. That's what it comes down to. I'll be the first to say it, and I'm the biggest... Well, okay, I'm not the biggest, but I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Just as much as you guys probably are. So that's why I don't want to... I don't want to discount everybody else by saying I'm the biggest, you know, we all are, right? That's why we're here. I'm just as big a Star Wars fan as you guys, but I'm I am ready and willing to say it's time to move on. We've seen enough of the Skywalkers. They've told their story. I want more. But like I said, that's not that's not discounting the Skywalker saga. It's great. It's awesome. That's what I grew up with. What we started with. I get it. But I am ready for other characters. And so I would love to see, it doesn't even have to be the Fallen Order, you know, it doesn't even have to be Battlefront, the, all this, this saga, although that would be great because, oh, what is, oh my gosh, I'm just thinking, I'm just getting excited thinking about this. What about Palpatine's little henchman guard thing, the, the, the Sentinels? Oh my gosh, I gotta draw one of those. How awesome would that be, seeing Sentinels brought into play? Which also goes into my play of like, see, you should have done, you should have done, uh, Palpatine in as the clone. Clones of Palpatine are what the the, the Clone Wars were. You, you you made a mistake by not doing that, but it is what it is. Um. Anyway, so I think I'm about ready here for the Sharpie portion. Oh, and if you notice how I drew a mask instead of her head, <laughs> maybe I'll have to do that on another one. Maybe I'll have to do another another outfit soon. You better you better hit that like and subscribe because there's gonna be more stuff coming. It's gonna be sweet. Let's go. All right, that's all I'm gonna sketch for the gun because I am. I am uh, gonna let the detail happen in the sketch. So let me erase the uh, sketch lines and let's talk about this too. How how much of a challenge it was to draw, I hate to say it like this, but to draw a female stormtrooper. Um, you know, we're so used to drawing 
the regular stormtroopers are looking like men and all that stuff. It was a challenge, but I'm glad I got it, to make it look like a woman in a stormtrooper suit. Because I wanted it to look like a woman in a stormtrooper suit. And I hate to be sexist like that, that it needs to be feminine. I just meant, I this character is so iconic, I wanted it to look like her in in her suit you know not just another stormtrooper like as many times you guys always want me to draw you know uh, all the other troopers and whatnot you can't tell the difference between what's being painted you know this i wanted to look like Iden in her trooper suit okay so i think that's enough i think i've erased enough that i can see what i'm gonna do and i'm ready to get going so let's welcome everybody that skipped and jump forward Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but a pencil will find the fine point. You can't find things that a fine point can't quite find. It's supposed to be a bigger splash than that. <laughs> I've erased the majority of the things I need to see, but I left myself enough where I can see where I'm going to go. Let me try and cover up some of these. There we go. I had I had light showing through right there where, where the sunlight was coming through. Um, if you want to see more troopers and Star Wars stuff, check out that playlist right there. I'm gonna get going with the Sharpie pen and just jump right in. Uh, I'm using the pen because I can control the line width much better, and I'm just gonna uh, highlight certain parts because that's what we're gonna see. So for the eyes, I'm gonna go across. Boom for the visor, or not the visor, but with the the eye part, basically. Oops, I did a little thick there. My hand moved, but I'm okay. That's fine with me, we're just gonna thicken it up. It happens, things happen like that. And that's why I just wanna show you that, let's just work with it, let's, let's build on it. Because it's not always gonna be perfect and there's no reason to get upset if it's not. We're just gonna build it, build on it, and then if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. End of story, no big deal. There. It looks good enough to me. No one's gonna come back and say that. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep going. So there are certain features that are in it that I wanna to try to capture, like um, the the visor. So it's gonna, or not the visor, but the helmet part, right? The, the, uh, the <laughs> this, is, this is a little awkward, but the rebel helmet, right? Isn't that weird that they decided to put a rebel helmet on a stormtrooper? Um, and it worked, right? It's like, okay, you guys wanna do that. But, I mean, they had to come from somewhere, right? Someone is manufacturing these. Someone is making all these parts. And so maybe that's what it is. The Rebels got a hold of the helmet part, and that's what they're using. Okay, so I'm going to draw the top of the, um, the Rebel helmet part. So I'm going to come over here like this. Do the same thing over here. My lines aren't coming out very straight. Let's see if I can fix that. and draw the the little inner like thing like this i call it the inner thing but i mean it's basically the edges of his center mohawk helmet thing all right i'm gonna come up here and i'm gonna go ahead and just draw the parts to it Like, in other words, I'm following my sketch, but it looks like I'm just randomly just drawing lines up, you know? Like, it's for a reason, but it's because I'm following my sketch, so... Yours may look like you're just drawing floating pieces. Just just stick with me, and we'll, we'll make it work, okay? Um, okay, so it is like a, a layered 3D type kind of thing, so we're gonna do this. I'll do another one over here, just a little bit like that. Well, not 3D, but it's got form to it, is what I'm trying to say. And then I'm gonna go ahead and come down, draw the little football helmet look like this. I'm gonna come back up, and because I'm thickening my edges, I can I can smooth out anything I don't feel is is flowing right. But again, even if it's not flowing right, I'm fine with that. It's okay with me. Because if nothing else, I also want you to understand that it doesn't have to be perfect. You can either start over or just keep going with what you got. Don't ever get upset. Don't ever tra or not trash it. If you want to trash it, you do what you want to do. Don't ever, you know, kick yourself or beat yourself up because you're not doing it right. It's always just practice. That's all it is. Practicing for the next one. That's it. That's it. Okay, so for his his mouth, 
Well, there's, there's some more details like right in here, so we're gonna have to float just a little bit. So I'm gonna do something like this, just to kind of give those edges. But they're, they're really, let's do the mouthpiece here. They're really uh, more highlights than they are edges. Right, so that's why I didn't want to define them too much. And, um, oh, you know what? I forgot to draw the, uh, I forgot. This comes a little bit lower. I'm gonna bring it in like this, like that. That way we can draw like the teeth, so to speak. Okay. Um, let's see. So then there's the centerpiece. I know I'm kind of floating around, but again, I'm following my sketch. That's really what it comes down to is I can kind of jump around like this when I've planned the entire thing out. It's not always going to go to plan, but that's okay. It's, it's uh, mostly going to go to plan and it's going to follow my idea. But also, I'm thickening up a lot of these edges because when I switch over to this Sharpie, you're gonna see a huge difference in line width. And so I'm kind of planning for that. You don't have to do that if you're working with pencil. You know, it might, it might even look a little strange to you if you do. So you, you draw how you draw, I'll draw how I draw, we'll meet somewhere in between, okay? So just looking at it like that looks pretty weird, right? But that's how the parts are. Those are the strange uh, intricacies of the, uh, the helmets. It's funny how it's almost like a foot or a hand, like you're used to seeing it. You never think about the little details until you actually have to draw them. And then, then it kind of stands out and you're like, oh, is that how it really is? It's, it's strange. Um, but it is, you know, a lot of stuff is like this. It's like, oh, okay. That's, that's a football helmet, or that's a, you know what I mean? It's like very weird looking uh, separate. But all together, when you look at the overall picture, you never think about little things like that. You just, you just, you know, it, it makes sense. But when you're looking at it piece by piece, it does look strange. You're like, oh, Oh, is that right? And a lot of times it is, you know, it's just strange taking it apart. Okay, so I think I'm done with the the uh, the face details, so to speak. This looks sad, let me straighten that eye line out. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to the other Sharpie and make it work. Okay, so, ooh, look at that, I'm getting more more uh, sunlight coming through. I'm trying to avoid that. So I'm gonna draw her, her chest piece here. So I'm gonna give her a shoulder like that. I'm gonna bring it all around, the, the armor basically. I'm gonna attach it right there. I'm gonna come down over here, come around to the other side, attach it over here. And then I'm gonna come down to the, uh, well, let me show you the, the um, Let's see, her arm's gonna come through like this. I have to do that because I wanna show you what's in front first. Like like that cuts off this, and I didn't wanna actually draw through the, the shoulder line, so that's why I wanted to show you what that looked like. And then I'm gonna come over here for the bottom of it, like this. It's gonna come up here, and then we're gonna draw the box. Now, I talked about the box in the sketch, and you know what, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna do it again because I've already talked about it once and I don't want to bore anybody who did sit through it. It was a very interesting conversation I had about characters and movies and uh, uh, what we're willing to sit through and what we want to see. And these are exciting times. I'll just leave it at that. And I'm interested in what you would think. So I really wish you'd go back and listen so we can have a conversation about it. But I'm not going to make you. You know, you. You listen to what you want to listen to. You watch it and draw what you want to draw. Because a lot of that sketch is for me. It's really for me just to 
get everything down. So I would hate for you to be bored by it. But if you want to talk about it, we talked about Star Wars. Um, okay, and I'm just going to make some boxes here. I'm going to try to make them straight, but I'm not worried about if they don't come out straight. You know, like I, I want to do like the, the boxes they have because that's that's kind of the cool thing about this costume is all the cool little stuff, you know. But again, see how this one's smaller than this one? I'm not worried about that. I, I'm going to get it close, but I'm not worried about how perfect I get it. I'm going to try. I always worry about when I say that, when I tell you, tell you, yeah, don't worry about it. I'm going to try because <laughs> sometimes it sounds like like I don't really care. It's like I do. I care a lot. I'm just saying I'm not going to worry too much if I don't get it right. I want to do it, but whatever happens, happens. That's how I live my life. All right, I think that'll work for the chest piece. Let's, oh, let's do this for her shoulder piece. So I'm going to close it out. And then I'm going to draw her shoulder piece like this. Then I'm going to, is it three? It's about four. It's underneath. So I'm just going to do like that. Okay. But I'm going to come back and I'm going to add a few lines like that with this Sharpie. Again, just for highlight, just for, just for, um, accent. But see how thick that this line is compared to these. That's why I like making this line super thick just to try to match that uh, that thick edge because uh, I just like the, the look of it. So again, remember, if you're working with pencil, you don't have to do that. Even if you're working with Sharpie, you don't have to do that. I just like explaining why I draw how I draw. And it's up to you to determine what you wanna do, how you wanna draw. All right. Okay, so. Guns up, everybody. So um, this arm is holding the gun up. All right, so she's got her arm bent right here up to her, her glove like this. I'm gonna draw some creases and folds. I'm gonna come back and highlight that even more in a second. Up to her wrist. Her thumb is over like this. Now. I'm gonna draw the blaster and her fingers are around it. So I'm gonna draw the edges of her thumb to the blaster like this. The fingers are coming around. And then this one's on the trigger. And that's all we can really see. And for the gun, I'm gonna to try to get it right, but I'll be, honest, I'll be honest with you, I don't think I've got a good picture of the gun. Uh, I've got something that's close, but let me see what I can do. Um, my paper's all, it's all wobbly. Let me see what I can do. I'm going to try to get the blaster right. But again, I, I'm just eyeballing it. So I'm not too worried about whether it really is perfectly right. I'm just going to get something that looks kind of like their blasters, you know? All right. It's kind of like the whole thing like before, like I'm not worried about it, but I'm going to try. Okay. But what's funny is I think I, yeah. I'm drawing the holster on the left-hand side. Oh well, what's done is done. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep it like my sketch. Oh, and I gotta try to keep it straight. That's one thing, right? It's like at least try, old man. At least try. What's wrong with you? You know what's wrong with me? I like Star Wars and I'm just having fun. Whatever whatever comes, comes what may kind of thing, you know? All right, so I'm gonna draw some some uh, some hand lines. 
just to kind of crease the glove up something you know just to show that it's 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 uh, well worn and got a lot of bends in it um, let's draw some crease lines in the cloth Um, for her, 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 you can't really see. We're just going to do something like that. You can't, you can't really see inside there anyway. Okay. Okay. So, back to my sketch. Uh, this hand is just hanging down. So I'm just going to draw this shoulder over like this. A little bend maybe every now and then for the cloth. Just like that, down to her glove. I'm going to draw the glove down to the wrist. And this hand is just hanging down here. No big deal. Boy, this is some really lumpy paper. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, so... Other side like this. And this hand is just hanging down. Nothing crazy. Okay, nothing like that. That's all. Again, it's just hanging down. That's not the most important part. So not too worried about it. Just want to make sure it looks good and flows well. All right. Same thing. Let's draw some lines for the, for the, uh, uh, the glove like that. Okay. So. Here we're going to draw her belt, and this is something I was talking about in the sketch that I, I I was very happy to make it look like her, like a female in in uniform. So we got to try to keep that female build, you know. Um, I'm going to draw her belt, so I'm just going to start right here to pick a spot for the big old square belt boxes. Okay, so now I'm going to attach it kind of something like this. Just to kind of accent that front. You know, so it's a little a little different. And then like I said, uh I've got a couple of, of little pouches hanging off, but I also am going to draw her holster on this side. I think it's on this side. Let me see. I'm trying to find some good pictures. Or does she even have a holster? I mean, I know it's a video game, so, you know. Yeah, see, I keep seeing it on this side, but she's right-handed. I guess just the way she puts it in, is it backwards? Oh, well, you know what? I'm overthinking it. Let's just draw it. I'm going to come in here and do this, and it's going to be empty. So I'm going to come in here and close it off like that. Okay. Um, same thing. I've got another one hanging down like this. Just a little accent piece. Don't know what it's for, but I like it. I like it. And there's not much I can really do for these because they are just big old boxes, right? So I'll try to throw in a little line just to try to give it some kind of accent. You know, so it's, it's going to be all colored black anyway. We'll draw an edge to the holster. Oh, and let's do, because this is cloth, let's do like some, we'll do like a, a front seam like that. And, and just kind of do that for a cloth. Okay. So for her, now it's just legs and pants. So again, I want to make it look feminine. So I got to remember that she's got hips. So bring it out like this down to her knee into her boot somewhere like that this leg is coming back up to her knee to about right there because this leg is sticking out this way so let's go ahead and say it's coming down this way down to this knee again to the boot over here gonna give her a, a nice wide thigh like that and I can reconnect this line now that I can. And I'm going to just close it up like I did right there. Ooh, but I did it with with uh, this Sharpie, the highlighter Sharpie. Like that. A 
But again, I wanted to make sure that I, I accented that she has thighs. You know, she is a full-figured woman. And uh, we, we uh, took that into account whenever we added uh, um, girth, right? Okay, and I always like adding material bends to the cloth just to show that it's 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 cloth that bends all right so now we're just drawing boots that's really it so I'm gonna come down here draw the front like this to the front of that let's draw the back so you get an idea of the, the again the girth the thickness of the boot coming down to the heel front of the shoe and then we're gonna close it off like that Let's add just a little bit of, ooh, you know what I wanted to do? I'll be right back. I wanted to add just a little bit of something to the gun just to break up the the uh, the, 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 the thickness I was adding to it with those other lines, just to give us a little bit of manufacturing. Because I always like saying that, that someone made these guns. Someone put a little effort into it to uh, put it together. So I like to add a little bit of extra just to show that someone is putting all this stuff together. And it breaks it up from being just a big, huge, um, thick, outlined gun. Little highlights, right? Okay. Oh, haha. <laughs> I was gonna do it here too. So again, for the boots, I like to show that there's bends, especially in the ankle. Maybe a little bit on the front right there. And then let's, let's give her a little bit of a heel like that. Let's just do the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna do this boot coming down. This one's kind of pointed at you, so about the heel and the toe down here. So I'm gonna draw the front like this, down to the front. Just draw the back again so you get an idea of the girth. Coming down to the heel, like that. So we're gonna say this one is just pointed like this. Here's the heel, since so it's more pointed at you, you're seeing more of a front view like that, okay? Again, I'm gonna draw, let's draw a little toe like that so you get an idea of where the front is, okay? I don't wanna confuse you. And then we'll say there's that part like that. So there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Aiden Versio from the Inferno Squad. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below, or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own, because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures on how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.